I'm Rick Orlando and we're still in stay home order so we're going to make some food for the family with stuff we have around the house. I mean some of us have more stuff around the house than others. Hummus using peanut butter because I didn't have any tahini and I didn't want to go back out to the market. But let's get to the pantry hummus, shall we? Okay, so hummus, basically a tahini based puree. Chickpeas, could be white beans, could be edamame, but in these times where we don't want to go to the grocery store 20 or 30 times a week, if you don't have tahini, but you want some hummus, why buy store-bought when you can make your own? We're gonna make hummus today with peanut butter. Or if you have people in your house with allergies and you have soy nut butter or sunflower butter, works just as well. Tahini is basically just sesame seed butter. So here's how we're gonna do it. We have our food processor. We're going to put our peanut butter, about a cup, and again, the recipes are on rickorlando.com and on Chef Rick Orlando on YouTube. There'll be videos, we'll edit this. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel because it's important to have subscribers so that you can actually make some money. I'm gonna put a couple of cloves of garlic in here. You don't need to put a crazy amount. And the other thing we're gonna to add to this to make it a little smoky is I have here smoked paprika. If you don't have smoked paprika in your pantry, you can use regular paprika, that's fine. I like the smoked paprika, it brings out a nice smoky flavor. Pow, right in there, okay? The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little lemon juice and we're gonna give this, get this puree. And the lemon juice is gonna help the peanut butter and the garlic to puree. Juice of a whole lemon is good, oops. And then, notice we're not adding any salt. This is unsweetened peanut butter, it does have salt in it, but I'll show you how we're gonna do that in a minute. So give this a whiz. All right, our garlic's broken down. I have here one 13 ounce can of organic chickpeas rinse. You can make chickpeas from dry. You can use regular old, you know, commercial peas are just organic ones. They're going in there. And I need to get the extra virgin olive oil over here. Let me add a little bit of that. A couple tablespoons. This is really good stuff my son brought us back from Sicily. I'm splurging right now. And then we want to add a little spice. I'm going to add a little ground cumin, but let me show you what I'm going to do. I have a pan here, a dry pan, and I'm going to put about yeah, a scant teaspoon of cumin in there, but I'm going to toast it first in the dry pan. Now look at that. I let the pan get hot while you were occupied with me using the food processor, but I want those little tufts of smoke. I don't want to get it black, but I want to get it almost black. Can you smell it? Can you smell this? Oh my God. It smells so great. The most beautiful toasty armpits you'll ever smell. Mmm. Love cumin. Look at that. See that color? See that smoke? That's going to add some more delicious smoky flavor to your hummus. Now, I'm going to put the food processor on and then I'm going to show you how we're going to get the proper consistency to making this hummus at home. A little trick most people don't know. Let that puree. Get some water. Now I'm going to add some salt to my water, about a, a teaspoon for a half a cup. This is the salt for the hummus, and this is also going to let your hummus get fluffy. Instead of adding more oil, instead of adding more lemon juice, you add water. It's cheap, and it makes for fluffy hummus. Watch this. I might need a little more. Let's see. Come on. Alright, let's that shoe, Lizzie. What do you see? How do we look? Scrape down the sides and give it another 30 seconds. Oh, yeah, we're getting a great consistency there already. Alright, so we're boring you with the machine, but let me just tell you one of the ways you learn this stuff, if you buy something in the store and you look at the package, You'll see ingredients, chickpeas, water, tahini. Water's in almost everything. It makes it fluffy and delicious. So if you want really smooth hummus, let the machine run about four minutes. We're not gonna do that now. And also, you can run it through a tammy or a strainer, uh, 
a, a, a fine mesh strainer. I like it a little bit on the chunky side. So look, look at the texture from the water, right? It's beautiful, it's creamy. I'm gonna give it a smear like this. Then I'm gonna take some of this delicious extra virgin olive oil and add it raw on top like that. And then for the last seasoning, I happen to have sumac. I also have za'atar, but you can also just add some cayenne or paprika. Sumac is actually the berries from the sumac tree that are dried. They're full of vitamin C, got a nice little citrusy flavor. All right, so there's our hummus. Have a little pita, pita and hummus. It's so great. Subtle flavor of peanuts, definitely hummus. You don't have to go to the store if you have peanut butter. If you have tahini, feel free. The recipes are on rickorlando.com. They're on my YouTube channel. Please subscribe. Thank you for all the community support. Keep taking care of each other. This is a strange time, but it's also a time to be together with your family and have some, have some fun. I mean, if you're not going out, have some fun. Enjoy yourself. I'm Rick Orlando. Ooh, another loaf of pita going. Have a great day.